it's a quarantine type of thing so i decided to just stay in the car so i will not have to pull out the clorox wipes and just go all over the place just just forget it i didn't it's too much work so i decided the best way no makeup because i want to plug touch of gold you'll be able to find links to this very soon but right now just hit me up with an email if you want to try it it makes your skin feel so beautiful so soft it's like you go back to a baby skin trust me when i say that the reason why i wanted to talk today is just say it's sunday and i just want to just say women are expected to be naked and twerk to rap it ain't got nothing to do with rapping that's the part that's stripping me out and since when I started in the music industry, I refused to get naked to sell records or refused. And I still, to this day, I ain't getting naked. I'm not twerking. If you don't like the way I sound, then you should just back up off me. I'm not, there's no sense in me. My skills speak for themselves. Check out some of my music. I'm Black Gold Tanaya. Um, if... If you don't like it, don't listen, but I really truly believe that my skills speak for themselves. But I refuse to take my clothes off. If the if you can only hear me if I'm naked, then you don't really want to hear me. And I ain't doing it for you. I don't care. I don't need to sell then. I don't need your money if you feel like I have to take off my clothes to get it. I am not a prostitute. So, and I'm not calling females who do that a prostitute. That's just how I look at it. I am not a prostitute. I do not sell my body for money. And so, therefore, you will not, I'm not rapping and twerking. And I used to get mad at female artists like, well, all y'all put y'all clothes on and let's stand together. And then I realized, I'm standing here saying this and I'm getting mad at the wrong people. It's females and men that want to see a woman twerk. Do you know every time I watch Megan on stage, how hyped females and men got every time she started twerking? I was like, wait, what is that? I was so confused, honestly. Because in my mind, I thought, okay, I get men getting excited. But women, they start screaming every time she was twerking. And... Then I listened to a pastor today talking about, well, you know, they'll put money behind people who talk about killing each other. Black on black crime, they'll put money behind that. Um, the industry will supply those type of artists money to fund their projects. And then I started realizing that's the same thing goes with the industry will supply money for women who take off their clothes and rap if you are rapping about a conscious subject about being a good mother about being a good daughter about being a good friend i don't care if you walk um, rapping about raising children to not kill one another to not um be in gangs to love one another to respect themselves to believe in god any of that it's not going to get any play. And so when I really look at it, why doesn't it get any play? Because this is 2020. You can go on for any platform and listen to the music. So why doesn't it get any play? It's the, it's the viewers. Sorry, y'all are the problem. You have to support artists that are putting good music out there for them to say, okay, we have to back this type of artist. But as long as you want to hear people who's talking about shooting their brothers, um, shooting somebody and, and then going and, you know, smoking a blunt, as long as you want to hear, um, I'm, you know, shoot you and then drink my Hennessy, or I'm going to have sex with him and steal his money, or I'm going to um, twerk because I'm, you know, I'm such a woman that I can do that. That's what you want to hear. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not taking away from the strength that it takes to be a woman, handle your business. Because once again, I've been in the industry and I know how hard it really is to just be yourself, to be 
real to be honest and so if that's an honest version of you to twerk then more power to you it's more of that's the only thing that they're letting in the industry that is the only thing they're allowing to come through and that's where i have a problem because it's segregation it's like if you're not gonna come in here take them panties you got too many clothes on i know one thing i've always felt when i look back at myself is i i heard it in my ear at least they feel like i have too many clothes on i'm keeping my clothes on i'm not taking my clothes off for you you don't get a chance to view my body because i'm rapping I didn't choose to be a stripper or I didn't choose to be a prostitute or I didn't choose to sell my body for money. I chose to rap. I chose to perfect my skills. I chose to be the best artist that I can be. And if that is not enough, then, hey, don't listen. But I am Black Gold Tanaya. I am Empress Tanaya. My shows will reflect on different real subjects and real topics. For instance, well, basically, let me explain where my subject matter comes from. I feel my spirit is touched. I'm not a pastor. I'm not an evangelist. I'm not here to... I'm definitely here to touch your spirit. But this is a blessing from God that I've received and so I want to honor God by blessing his people, which are you and me, with the word that he gives me. And that's what I'm going to do. So, my, first and foremost, I should have said this in the very beginning. I'm not here to bash Nikki. I'm not here to bash Megan, Cardi. I'm not here to bash women. I'm not here Lizzo um rihanna i don't because it could be an r b all the different genres of music have had to experience what i'm talking about and that's take your clothes off so i can hear you even though there's no earmuffs going on take your clothes off otherwise i can't hear you and this is just say it's sunday so i just had to just say it that Y'all are all phony and fake. And anybody who listens to music just because somebody takes their clothes off is phony. Because it has nothing to do with the artist and their skills. Do they sound better if they naked? Do they, does what they say come through a little bit stronger for you because they naked? Or is it a little bit more entertaining if women take their clothes off because i've never seen a man and i'm trying not to get angry here i've never seen a man have to take his clothes off to be heard oh have i ever seen jay-z with his shirt off do you know how many millions of albums he done sold and he ain't never even take his shirt off does he have a chest does he have some abs who cares that's what i'm saying because we don't listen to his abs we are not listening to megan's butt as she does the whole twerking move. I mean, she got some strong knees. Trust me, she does. But we're not listening to her knees. Her knees don't rap. Do you get it? Do you understand where the problem is coming in at? And men are not treated like that. Men can just wear a funky t-shirt and some jeans and just do their thing. And we just be like, oh... And that's the women. But I'm going to talk about that on another day because that is a whole different subject. And this is just say it Sunday. So I had to just say it. That we don't listen to Megan's knees and um, and her butt twerking. Her butt don't, when it flaps, it don't speak. It probably speaks to a lot of men, but it don't speak. Like it has no words. Her words are coming from her lyrical content. Her words are coming from her brain and all the beautiful studying she's done at whatever college she goes to and all the things that wor the world and um, her life experiences has brought her to. That's what we're hearing and how articulate she is with her wordplay. That's what we're hearing. We're not hearing anything about her knees. And But if you noticed, the comments be like, oh, her knees are strong. Oh, the I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. It's not me. 
Honestly. I'm ashamed of the industry that I've put so many years into. And it's very disappointing. I've opened up for so many different artists. I actually backed up from the industry and I just decided to have my family, have my children, and live my life because I found that it was something that obviously wasn't just letting me in on my skills and I wasn't finna take my clothes off. Like even my last song that I um, released called Birthday Dress. It was like, okay, when you come down to it, my whole song is about men or people in the industry not caring about what I'm saying. They only want to see me naked. That's the whole point. And that's beautiful. I should have had it playing in the background. But the point being is to be able to bring that to life, you really have to get naked in the video a little bit. at least. And I was like, no, because that's really conforming to what they want me to do and that's the whole point of the song i'm not getting naked for the industry if you like what you hear then listen put me on your playlist and check me out and i'm so tired of sisters not supporting one another like why is it that if you know nikki is big then megan can't be big and if megan's big then you know rico or um, sweetie can't be big or whoever else, um, can't name them all right now, but why? So April 1st of 2019, I started plugging all female artists and I did about 40, 50, I don't know. Um, they're on my Instagram right now and I put their names and I would actually put a line from their song. And I'm going to start that back up in the next couple of days, April 1st of 2020. You will be guessing. So I want you to guess what artists, if they're all female artists, what artists said that line. And I want you to support female artists, support each other. It's enough female artists out there to support one another. We don't even need anybody else's support. So at least if nothing else, you know how hard it is for a woman, especially a woman with some clothes on to break into this industry and to make a living, to make a mark. Forget a living and a mark then to just let be heard. It's very, very hard. It's not something that we can just do easily. So let's take the time out to support one another and show love to one another. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And check out Touch of Gold because it is so amazing when you start using this on your face you'll never go back it's a facial cream but it's a head to toe cream because it is good for your whole body and it is amazing it's all organic it's all natural and made by me that's why it's called touch of gold because i am black gold tanaya i feel like we all have to grow evolve and as we grow and evolve i pray that we can take the time out to look back and notice the things that we aren't doing that aren't great like when, when you have a child when you have a little girl would you rather her keep her clothes on or would you rather her twerk her way to the top and i don't actually i don't hold nothing against megan or um, nikki or uh, lil kim or anybody who had to get naked to be hurt because if they didn't do that they would have never been hurt that's why I'm sitting in my car right now filming for y'all on YouTube with a handful of subscribers because I refused. And I still refuse to this day, you see? I got plenty of clothes on. I have no time to reveal my body just to get views. And it's even going on on TikTok right now and somebody half naked that's, okay, well, if I, t if I put this on, people will watch. And I just want us to start valuing ourselves and valuing what we feel about ourselves valuing how we look at ourselves and valuing how we treat ourselves because if we don't do it no one will the empress has spoken and i'm out